Hey guys, this is Amin and uh, welcome to the first episode of the new series, uh, How Was It Designed? Where we break down the designs that you sent and see how can we make them in a simple way. So uh, the design that we have today was made by Reason Perrin. I hope that I said that right. Um, it was sent to me by my friends on YouTube, uh, Creativity Spot. And uh, they needed to figure out how can they do something like this. So th the main concept of this design is uh, extracting, is to have the text uh, extracted from some object. But when you do it the regular way, you would have the whole text at the same level. You can't have it like uh, diagonally. So we will see today how uh, can we make this effect with the shadows and everything. So let's, ju uh, let's jump into Cinema 4D. We will start by uh, adding the text itself that we needed uh, or that we need to uh, to show. Uh, I like to uh, use the um, mo text to add the text quickly with the extrude and everything. Uh, anyway, so we will write something like um, "cool" and we will use uh, a font um, uh, Beavis uh, because it's it's kind of close to the one that he used in his design. And uh, we will also add a cube because that will be the object that we extract from. So uh, I will jump into the uh, top view here and just quickly uh, scale uh, this cube to be at the size of my text. And also I'll get back here and use the rotation tool just to have the text uh, flipped uh, to be in the correct uh, direction. Also, I'll place it at the top of this cube. Let's go back uh, to the front view and uh, place this cube in the middle. And also place the text in the middle as well. Okay. And then uh, I'll add some depth to this because uh, we need to have the space inside. Then we will add uh, this effect, but first we need to extract the space from the cube uh, to have this insertion effect or the extraction effect to be accurate. So uh, I'll have uh, something like this uh, should be enough. Uh, let's go back to the top view and place it in the center again. Okay, uh, that seems fair. Okay, uh, the tool that we will use is uh, called the bool. Uh, and uh, you can find it either in object, uh, modeling bool, or from the toolbar here. Uh, and this uh, tool, if you haven't used it before, uh, can makes, um, make you extract certain objects from the other one. So we will insert the cube inside it, and also the text that we have. And immediately we see that um, we have the text extracted. There are other options uh, if you want. There are like uh, uh, A union B if you want to make uh, both objects creating one object. And there are other uh, options that you can play with. Anyway, we'll go back to A uh, subtract B. Okay, so this is the space that we need uh, as the depth of this uh, object. So now how to create this effect? If we go back again, the questions uh, that um, Creativity Spot guys sent me is that when you do a quick render, uh, let me add some light to see uh, how it actually works. Um, just place it something like this. Uh, maybe add some shadows uh, quickly just to see exactly how it looks. Um, just um, soft ones. Okay, and if we do a quick render, we will see that, okay, we have some extraction coming uh, out from this object. But the thing is that the whole uh, extraction is happening at one level. So how can we have this diagonal effect that uh, some parts of it are nearly uh, to the uh, edge or the surface of the cube and the other, other ones are deep inside. So uh, to do this in a simple way, we would just have to add or duplicate the text that we have. So I will just hold uh, control and drag and drop here to create another instance. And I will simply uh, bring this down just a bit inside. Okay. Then I will just use the rotation tool and rotate this inside. Fair enough. So this is quite easy. And we will just also um, come in the uh, front view and bring it down 
a little bit so that it's right near to the surface okay seems great okay so this is basically the concept that we have also we can just um, to play with it we can add some coloring uh, to this we would have something like bluish maybe for the cube uh, we would use uh, we don't need it to be uh, having much reflections from um, uh, the um, the light that we have maybe add this to the cube create another one uh, with a different color like um, yellow would, uh, look okay and add it to the text then uh, if we do another quick render we will see that we have an effect going on uh, we can improve this uh, even more by uh, actually tilting this a bit more to the inside uh, something like this would be okay again bring it near to the edge okay so um, we will just uh, finish the scene with uh, a bit of uh, expanding this and um, tilting the camera if you do a right click on the rotational tool um, you can have uh, like a different camera angle, a tilted camera angle you can play with it uh, however you want go up a little bit like this and um, this seems okay uh, also I think I will just add uh, the ambient occlusion and some global illumination uh, to uh, just make this look uh, a bit better so okay uh, just let's have a quick render and see how this goes okay uh, the render is now done and we see that okay we have the basic effect but when we take a, a deeper look into the design we see that the shadows are are completely dark completely black while in his design they were uh, not as dark as they are in uh, my render and that can be played with with the shadow settings that we will do right now also uh, inside of this uh, extraction is uh, gray because it doesn't have any material we can fix that by simply just dragging the material the blue one onto the whole pool not only on the cube and if we want we can uh, make the same effect by adding the same material to the text for for the shadow issue we can just go back here to the light settings and um, go to the shadows tab and reduce the density it's at 100 percent so we'll see like 70 or 60 percent that should be enough also to have the same effect that he has we can uh, put it at uh, hard not as uh, soft shadows we can do a regional um, render just to see how it looks uh, it seems very okay let's do a complete uh, render now just repositioning the camera a little bit okay let's do a complete render okay uh, the render is now complete and we see that now we have uh, a better looking uh, render close to the one that uh, we had earlier that we broke down so uh, I hope this helped you and uh, if you didn't know about the bool tool this is maybe the first time you uh, use it and it can be helpful in creating some other uh, creative ideas that we may go through in the upcoming ones uh, so this is it for today uh, please if you see any other designs that you would like to know how they were made even if it's an animation I would be uh, grateful for you sending me those suggestions and uh, yes please like this video if it helped you and I'll see you next time